I don't know how to start my videos. I'm gonna start again. Yeah, Gab? Why are you filming video? Can I use a computer charger? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. So today I'm bringing you a try on haul um, of things I got recently from op shops to prepare me for winter. For those of you who don't know, I recently moved to Armadale, recently being at the start of this year. So it has been a couple months. Um, but I, when I moved, I do not think I was prepared for how cold it gets there in winter. Um, now it is approaching winter. We're in no, it is winter. Oh my gosh. It is winter. This year's gone so fast. So for those of you who don't know much about Armadale, it's a rural city in New South Wales, Australia, and it snows there in winter sometimes. It's actually already snowed this year, but at the moment I'm down visiting my parents and the rest of my family on the central coast, so I missed it. And I've never seen the snow before and I was so excited, but I wasn't there. There was also a day last week in Armadale where the top temperature was 4 degrees. I had I ha trouble believing that um, and I'm honestly a bit scared to go back. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it gets really cold there and me, being from the east coast of Australia, am used to quite mild winter temperatures. Um, and now I've moved to a climate where it can snow. Fair to say I'm not very prepared. So what I've done is I went to a couple op shops down here on the Central Coast with my sister and my mum and basically stocked up on everything they had that looked like it would keep me warm. I got jackets, I got puffer jackets, I got jumpers, I got knitwear. So I'm bringing to you guys a huge haul of everything I've got recently to prepare me for the snow. I'm still a bit scared, but I am prepared. So, um... With all that being said, let's finally get into the haul. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with knitwear. So the first thing I have is this vest. I know these have been like really in trend lately, on trend, whatever. Um, but I have been seeing them all over Pinterest. These Pinterest girls like layering them with like button down shirts and stuff. So I picked this up mainly because I was like, oh. That's cute, and it was like $4 or maybe $6. By the way, everything I got here was $10 or less. That's crazy. I'm talking too much. I've just got to show you the pieces and move on. Vest. Nice. It's this... What colour is this? Like a brown grey? I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up that well. Hey, guys. Anyway, that's... This, it's nice. It's part wool, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's like 40% wool. 45% wool. Um, so that's gonna be a good layering piece for winter. And I don't even have a vest, so I was very excited when I saw this. Okay, next thing. Okay, I've got two basic tops here. First off is this blue one that is 100% woolen. So that's gonna keep me so warm. Um, I don't love it, it's kind of ugly, but it's mainly for layering, like putting this underneath a jumper and then a jacket, like you won't see it, but it's going to keep me warm being wool. This next one, I like the colour of this a little bit better, but it has a similar purpose as the other one, um, to be layered under things. It is, it's got this nice v-neck, and I do think it is a bit nicer than the other one, but like I said, I will be probably layering it under jumpers and jackets and everything else I have to keep me warm, my beanie, my gloves. This is a bulky knit jumper that's this green colour. Um, the neckline is really cool because it's like straight across. Most things I have a turtleneck or just like a scoop neck, but this one is like a straight line neck. I don't know how to describe things, but it's this really beautiful like green colour. I'm not too sure if the camera's picking that up too well. But it's also like a little bit cropped, you probably can't tell, but that's going to be good for wearing with jeans, because, let me explain, let me explain. Most of my, my knitwear, I don't like wearing, like, not tucked in, I like to have it tucked in, and because some of my jeans are tighter, when you tuck in your bulky knitwear, it just starts looking real funky around your waist. 
Um, so I like this because one, I won't have to tuck it because it is cropped and two, if I do tuck it, I won't have to tuck much of it in. Um, so it won't give me that bulky look around my waist. Okay, next thing. Last for the knitwear is this. This is so thick. Like, I don't know how to... Do oh, sorry. My chair keeps hitting the back of that little desk. I'm not too sure how to show you guys how thick this is, but it's like, it's squishy. It's... It's so thick and nice. And it also doesn't have any tags on it, which makes me think maybe someone actually like knitted it themselves rather than like got it from like a shop or whatever so it's this nice kind of pale baby blue gray color so i can see myself wearing this with like a turtleneck because it does have a v so if i don't wear anything like that covers my neck underneath i'm gonna get really cold so i can see this with like a neutral colored turtleneck or something like that i'm really happy with this um, yeah, that's about all I have to say for that one. I love it. <laughs> There's one more thing I forgot to show you guys from the knitwear, um, but you have been looking at it this whole video. It's this. It's just this turtleneck, white, cozy, top, jumper, shirt? I'm not really too sure, but as you can see, it's such a nice material. I think this is gonna be one of like my most worn winter pieces. I'm a sucker for a turtleneck. It's also really thick and it can go with anything, being this neutral white kind of creamy colour. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited about this and I've already worn it like four times. I've had it for like five days and I think I've worn it for four of those days. So fair to say it's going to get a lot of use. <laughs> okay, so next up we're going to move on to puffer jackets. I was so excited when I found this first puffer jacket. Um, first off, it was only $10. Um, secondly, I'm sorry, I'm just grabbing it. So the only puffer jacket I have had previously is a bright yellow one, which I still love. Don't wear it too often just because it's a hard color to match. So I was excited when I found this. It's just a really basic plain black jacket. Sorry, the lighting's doing something a bit weird there. Um, it does also have a hood you can attach onto it, but I don't have that on at the moment. Um, it's got good pockets. Yeah, I mean, enough said, it's just a basic black jacket, but like I said, I don't have anything like it. And I feel like this is an essential winter piece, and I'm not sure why I've never had one before. But I am happy I have one now, and we'll get a lot of use out of this also. Okay, next up. Next up is similar, but different. It is this black puffer vest. I'll show you guys. Um, same thing with the hood, I just don't have it attached at the moment, but I have that. Um, there's really not too much else to say about it, but I'm excited to wear it and style it different ways because like the other vest, I've never really had a vest to style. Um, so I'm keen to give this a shot. Okay, next thing is the last puffer jacket I got. Um, now, to preface, I do not like the orange part of it. Now, before I show you guys this one, don't get too scared yet. I promise it looks good in the try-on haul. The orange is a bit much at first, but it is on the inside of the jacket, so you won't see it as much. Anyway, let's get on with it. It is this. It's a brown puffer jacket. It's kind of a more, I wouldn't say like stylish, but maybe a little bit more stylish. Um, just with like the gold zip and the gold like pocket zippers and stuff um but yeah the orange like i said is a bit much so yeah just another puffer jacket to put on top of or put over an outfit i suppose keep the wind out keep the snow off me yes i also really like its sleeves how it has like this which is tight how do i how do i explain this it's like material it's not like the puffer jacket material it's like you know like regular material um, I don't know how to describe that, but when I put my arms in it, it goes tight around my wrists, which means the air can't get in. I like that. I like that feature. <laughs> anyway, enough about this puffer jacket. Let's move on to jackets. So the first jacket I'm going to show you guys 
is this red one. Now, getting this, I think, was a bit of a gamble, um, but I, I think red is my colour. Um, I real I don't know, but I think red's my colour, or at least it was when I was younger, and I look exactly the same as I do when I was younger, pretty much. So, hopefully it's still my colour. Um, sorry, the lighting's been a bit weird. But it has these really cool, like, buttons. Can you see that? And, like, just this collar. It's kind of longer. Nice arms. Nice arms? <sighs> I'm not sure what I meant by nice arms, but... It has nice arms, I guess. Um... Pockets, lots of pockets. So this will be good to add a bit of colour to my outfits because I have noticed that most of my winter stuff is very neutral. So this could be fun to add a pop of colour or it could be an absolute disaster. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, mm, do I love this or hate it? It's David Jones. Honestly, I think that's why I got it. I was like, ooh, David Jones, that's expensive. I think that's all I'm gonna say about this jacket. So let's move on to the next one. Now, this next thing is probably what I'm most excited about. I've never had anything like it. Okay, I'll, do, I'll just show you guys. I know, the anticipation's probably killing you. It is this. You, ca you can't even tell, but it is a full-length black woolen coat. It's absolutely amazing. I love it so much. So this huge coat... It has like a full on belt, it has pockets, it's woolen, it goes almost to my ankles. I got this for $10. I have seen similar coats up on Depop for over like $100, over $200, some of them. Um, and Depop is like a secondhand clothing website or app. So to find this in an op shop for $10 and it to be like woolen and fit me. I was, I was over the moon. I love it so much. And I haven't even worn it yet because I'm on the central coast and it's like pretty nice temperatures here and I think I would get some weird looks if I was walking around in a full length black coat. But I'm gonna fit right in an Armadale, I hope. If it's snowing. If people aren't wearing huge coats when it's snowing, you're a bit odd. Yes. So. I'm so keen for this, especially with university going back to on campus. I need like a good winter outfit every day I'm on campus. And I reckon this is going to be one of my staple pieces. Um, yes, very excited about that. So I've probably talked enough about my black coat by now. So let's move on to jumpers. Um, I only have two in this category, but the first one is just this really simple red one. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty basic, but once again, good for layering. I could even see myself wearing a turtleneck like this underneath it, and then with a coat over the top, because I reckon red and white goes really well. And as long as I don't wear my green jeans, I won't look like a Christmas tree. But, if I avoid the green jeans, I should be safe. Um, that's about all I have to say about this jumper. Uh, because it's pretty basic, but it was like $4 maybe, so that's good. Next. Okay, next is this fleece half zip-up jacket. I'm having a hard time describing things if you couldn't already tell, but this is it. Um, it's just white with kind of black detailing, um, it's got pockets, nice big arms. Who let me do a clothing haul? My description is nice, pockets, I like it. <laughs> I'm not sure how else to describe this, but it's it's a little bit fluffy, like not too fluffy, but it's kind of like a fleecy material. I don't know. Okay, next. <laughs> next thing I have for you guys, it's not necessarily a winter essential, and it's also not clothing. It's this. It's this blue bag. Isn't it cool? I feel really, like, trendy. Um, yeah, so this dark navy blue bag. Woo! Um, just a bag. It's got zippers and stuff, uh, which is basically the uh, bag equivalent of pockets, 
It has zipper compartments, so that's exciting. You know how much I love pockets. If I haven't already mentioned it like 20 times in this video, that's, that's my number one thing about clothing. It needs to have pockets. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I don't have too many hair bags. I have one green one, which I love, that I wear often. But when green doesn't go with the outfit, I now have blue. So that's fun. Okay, next. So I think I am all done with the things I got recently, but I do have a few honorable mentions um, of things that I've got like quite a while ago. First on the list is this. Oh, where's the arm? My favorite thing, the arm. So this has saved me during autumn. I wear this six out of seven days, maybe six and a half. Um, it's this men's large jacket from Rivers. It has a fleece on the inside. It has like internal pockets, which is amazing. That's why you have to get men's jackets. Pockets, they're exceptional. Um, it has kind of like a corduroy pattern pattern. Material up the top. Uh, the, the bottom is just kind of like canvassy. Denimy? Canvassy? I don't know. But it's huge and I love it. But it is huge and I am a bit smaller so it eats me. Um, but it keeps me so warm and I'm, I'm so thankful I found this. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. A grandpa jacket. Oh, it's a blazer actually. It's this... What is this? Like gingham print blazer? I got this a few years ago when that was really in in trend um but it is just another jacket to you know spice up an outfit i can imagine wearing this with like a black turtleneck black jeans black boots and then this you know funk it up a bit um it's not the thickest of materials it is actually quite thin i'm not sure why i felt the need to tell you it wasn't thick and it was thin because that is saying the same thing in a different way but Okay, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Last thing is something I was also very excited about when I found it. It is a black leather blazer. I'll show you guys. Woo. I think I got this for, it was less than $20. It might have been like $18 or $16. Or maybe it was $8. No, I don't think it was that cheap. But it's like pure leather. Um, it has a really cool collar. I love this. Um, it's in really good condition. Um, it has pockets. They're not the biggest pockets. Like, my hand, like, almost fits in fully. Can you see? All I care about is pockets, as you know. But yeah, this is, um, leather. Which I wouldn't buy brand new because I'm vegan and I don't support the leather industry. But if it is at an op shop, I am okay with buying it because... Uh, the money isn't going directly back to the company that paid for the leather, if you know what I mean. Um, yes, I really like it. Oh, I've been recording for almost half an hour. Guys, how good's my new camera? Woo! So, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much if you stuck around to the end. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. If not, that's okay. Um, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day or evening, whatever it happens to be. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh no, guys. Look at the absolute bomb that's gone off in here now. After I just cleaned up the other room, now I have all this to deal with. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to take the thumbnail. This is the awkward part. <sighs> Help. Oh my goodness. Should I zoom out? Hold up. Oh, that's in, that's in, that's, that's the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I actually got so much stuff. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I got one. Okay, bye.